Sasha, I spoke with one parent today who says her child was sent home from daycare after having diarrhea, an uncommon symptom of COVID-19. She says that current screening procedures in daycare settings may not be sustainable come cold and flu season. Kristen Phillip, mother of 18-month-old Lucas, says her child underwent COVID-19 testing after having diarrhea the first week back in daycare. Children, when they reintegrate into school and daycare, they pick up all kinds of bugs and viruses. Um, not all of them are COVID-related. The London Middlesex Health Unit tells CTV News that if a child experiences any COVID-19 symptom while in daycare, they will unfortunately have to leave and be monitored at home. And can either stay at home for 14 days from when they develop those symptoms or go see a primary care provider to see what's going on or of course visit one of our assessment centers. Summers adds child care centers will have slightly different protocols. Philip says while there's no right call in the health unit and daycares are doing their absolute best, she is concerned the screening guidelines may not be sustainable in the long run. I think they need to increase the mandates to include at least two or three uh, either common or uncommon symptoms before we submit children to constant testing or self-isolation. One of the challenges that we're going to face this year is that some of the things that we just let slide in previous years when it comes to the routine cough and cold is going to feel a bit different this year. We do have to be more responsive to those types of symptoms in childcare settings and in schools. Angela Woodburn at the London Bridge Daycare Centre says children are screened for common and uncommon symptoms of COVID-19 before entering. I think right now families are generally understanding. Um, I think that that might change as more families are coming back to childcare. We're not at full capacity yet, and so we'll see kind of what that is like as we move forward. Jordan Reed, CTV News.